are you optimistic that we can get back to a process in which Congress, the president proposes a budget, Congress debates it, and we actually get these things done in an orderly fashion? Yeah, you know, I don't want to be a pessimist here on Sunday morning, but look, a couple things. First of all, give the Republicans some credit for the fact that they got something here. Is what they have here transformational? Not, not in the least. And when they keep saying they're going to spend less, I don't understand how they say that because entitlements are going up, you know, dramatically. I'll, Ali, what I'm, what I'm hopeful for, in a way, cautiously hopeful, is in order to pass this, they're going to have to, in the House, they're going to have to marginalize those on the left, and they're going to have to marginalize those on the right, and they're going to have to do this with a coalition of Republicans and Democrats, basically from the middle. Does that then give you some sort of a coalition that can deal with these serious fiscal issues somewhere in the future? I'm very disappointed there's no commission in here. See, we need to have a commission in here to explain to the American people that if, in fact, we keep doing what we're doing, running these deficits, we have higher interest payments, it starts to crowd out all the other spending that the federal government considers necessary that's good in many respects for the American people. And secondly, there is nothing in here that talks about the crisis, pending crisis, Ali, that we face both in Medicare and particularly Social Security. The public itself needs to understand why this debt is bad mm -hmm. and what is the looming crisis of Medicare and Social Security. Maybe you can have a mature group of responsible people not just to deal with budget, but AI and so many other things that can begin to govern. 